sweet delights. For the upcoming occasion of Durga Puja, I have bought a traditional Bengali sweet recipe with a modern twist and the recipe is chocolate sandesh or sandesh. So let's begin. Let's see the ingredients. We will require 1 liters of milk, powdered sugar, half a cup, 2 teaspoons of cocoa powder, 2 tablespoons of vinegar. You can also use lemon juice instead of vinegar. Few choco chips for garnishing. Here I am having chocolate sauce in this cone. And uh, this is totally optional. This I will be using for decorating our sandesh. Now we will add our milk to the pan. And we will heat it. We need to stir it continuously to avoid getting burn. We have to heat it till it starts boiling. You can see here now our milk is boiling and at this point we will switch off the flame and we will add 1 tablespoon of vinegar to it and we'll stir our milk we will add one more teaspoon of vinegar you can see here our chena is separated from the whey and now quickly we will take it into the strainer and we'll wash it off with cold water so that the chenna won't cook more hard. You can see here now, uh, we have strained the chenna in a strainer and we have removed all the water and uh, it's dry now. But still I'm finding some uh, moisture in it. So I'll tie this in one uh, muslin cloth and keep for 15 to 20 minutes. Now after 15 20 minutes of tying into muslin cloth, our chana will look like this and uh, the moisture has been removed from this and now we have to knead it very well till it becomes soft and you have to do this with the back of the pump so I'll begin with it after 5 minutes of kneading our chana has become soft now it is time to add our cocoa powder to it. Make sure you add only 2 teaspoons or little bit less than that. If you add more cocoa powder to your chana, then your sandesh will become bitter. We will add some powder sugar to it. And we will knead this chana well. You can see here uh, this mixture and now this we are going to fry uh, in a pan for two to three minutes on a very low heat so that uh, the raw aroma of the chana goes completely. I have kept the flame on low and we have to stir it continuously. You can see here now our mixture is cooked now and uh, I will switch off the flame and if we keep it for more time the mixture will turn into granules and we don't want that so this is perfect for us and now we will let it cool uh, you can see here we have taken out our mixture on a plate and now I am cooling this uh, on a room temperature and then I will be keeping it in refrigerator for 15 to 20 minutes see here our mixture is cooled properly now now we will make sandesh out of this now we will start making our sandesh this is our dough and we'll take some and I'll roll out on my palm. See like this. You can make round or you can also use shapes. Uh, I'm having your one hexagonal cutter and I'm using this.
you can see my hexagonal sandesh is ready now I'll keep it on plate similarly I'll make few here we have all our sandesh and now uh, we will garnish them now we will decorate our sandesh Now uh, we have decorated them with uh, chocolate sauce. Now here is our second ingredient for decoration. These are chocolate chips and now we will be adding this to our sandesh. Now our decoration is ready and we will keep this sandesh in refrigerator for half an hour. Uh, so that the chocolate on top uh, will set completely and uh, we will serve them cool. I hope you all liked the recipe video. Please do give it a try at your home and celebrate this Durga Puja with your family and friends. And subscribe my channel and also do visit my website for more recipes. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.